guys it's your girl Oprah no way free and welcome back to another video this has got to be the video I was most excited to film because my MacBook Pro finally came and y'all are just about to watch me unbox it and do the basic setup I'll come back with another video later on about the specs and everything this is just me trying to unbox it aesthetically but failing and ignore the blue band-aid on my finger I cut myself opening the box Anyway, so I ordered this laptop on a Tuesday and it literally came today, which is Thursday. It took two days. I ordered it from Best Buy and it was $1,099 and ended up being $1,156 after tax and shipping. And this is it. I got the color silver because I just preferred it over the, the space gray. And this is the actual laptop. It's pretty light, which was surprising because it's you know not the air and we're just gonna go through the boring stuff first so this is the little information that comes with all Apple products and the Apple stickers you guys are silver it is so cute I love it and there's the pamphlet which I will probably be reading because this is my first Apple laptop and I was surprised by how big the charger was it's hefty and the cord which has two of the same heads which is really weird okay now on to the fun part we're gonna take the plastic off the laptop and honestly I tried to make it aesthetic again but I did it wrong but that's not the point but anyways this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro 2020 which is their new version they have a 2019 version but they changed a lot of the specs and the basic stuff especially when it came to the keys for the 2020 version so this is just me opening it up and you can open it with one hand which is so impressive to me and it was already on when you turn like when you open it for the first time which i already knew was going to happen because i watched so many of these unboxing videos but it's still super exciting to see and this is just the laptop up close it's so pretty i'm most likely going to get a case for it because i just don't want to scratch it up and everything and this is just me setting it up So the difference between the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air are basically just the touch bar that you can see at the very top row and the fact that the MacBook Pro is much better for editing. I've heard from many people that when they are editing with the MacBook Air it crashes or it's just slow. So if you're going to be using your laptop for basically just everyday activity or just for school or anything then the macbook air would probably be best for you but if you will be editing or taking pictures and videos and everything then i suggest the macbook pro because it's just going to be more durable and it's just a better laptop for that type of content it is the eighth generation which is the lower end of the macbook pro lineup is $200 more than the MacBook Air. The highest MacBook Air has a higher generation than the lowest MacBook Pro, but honestly, it just comes down to knowing what you need and what is best for you to figure out which of these two laptops to get. They are both great, however. But thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this was just the unboxing and I will be back with a review of the actual laptop after I've used it a little bit and let you guys know how I feel about it then. Bye.